Okay, so I'm going to show you um, how to use this um, this app, um, this bold product options um, app, if um, for selecting and doing conditionals as well. Okay, so we're um, uh, going to do the following, right? So I want to take you through this thing. Uh, you log into your uh, Shopify account. You go ahead and click on your product, your bold pro product options. Obviously, this has been installed and working correctly now. All themes are different. So if you change the theme, well, that integration has to be added again. Um, I have a, created another video on how to install uh, this bold product options on several different themes. Um, if you'd like to see that, let me know. Um, so um, we first have to create the options. So right now uh, we have this one called standard swatches, then we have bed heads, right? So we're creating bed heads and it's gonna account for all the bed head products. So if I click on edit and I wanna assign the products and now I have Milan and I have Alice. So let me add some more edit selection. I'll just type in bed head and hit search because it's not that smart sometimes. Okay, so we are going to select um, Arlo. Hold the, let's see what else we got here. I'm holding my uh, Apple key down, command key. Um, if you're using an Apple or a contr uh, control key, I believe you use, if you're using a PC, uh, click on Harlow, Bedhead, there's Harper, Bedhead, Arch, Bedhead, Bedhead, keep going, Bedhead. If I miss any, you can come back in here and just add them. Bedhead, Bedhead, Bedhead. Stupid computer. There we go. All right, so I said save selection. So now all those products that I just selected will have um, this um, drop down as well as um, this. So this drop down as well as this drop down as well as all the swatches that are tied to it. Well, if you have this bed head has certain pricing and then another bed has certain pricing, then you need to create um, another. Um, option in here, right? So you have to go in and create options for each one. So if you had three of the bed heads that had uh, regular pricing, you could, you know, pricing one, pricing two, pricing three. So if I know that all of the swatches are going to be the same for all of the bed heads in the future, right? I can leave all these in here. So right now I'll scroll down. I just added those products. What I like to do because this app, even though it's really good, Connectivity issues, things like that happen, and the app has to connect back to their system and then connect into Shopify. So I always save it when I start doing little stuff like that. But if I'm going to go ahead and start adding the rest of the items, then I don't need to do that. So um, here you've got select your size. And if you look at this, you've got single, single bronze, single gold, singles. All this stuff has been added in here. Let's go click on edit. So if I know that um, this is going to be you know, a certain fee, I can select, you know, create charge and put in my charge here. Um, I could also use an existing variant. If I click on a review variant, then I have to go and find um, the variants that are created in there already. So this one has a $100 um, variant already selected, or I can edit the selection, and then I can go and type and try to find more uh, variants that are set up. So nothing's set up in there right now. So I wanna say I wanna charge 100 bucks for this one, and then silver bronze, I want to charge uh, 200, right? And then for uh, single silver, so single bronze is 200, single silver, I'm going to create a charge and call it 300. And then I'm going to go here, single gold, create a charge, call it 400. And then single platinum, adjust charge, 500, right? And you go down the list and you make your pricing for all of the items that you need to make pricing for. Once you're finished, you have to save the individual option first. 
And then if you're done making edits on everything, if you're done making edits, then you scroll down to the bottom and you're going to go ahead and save the option set. So once that option set is saved, I can go over to my uh, product page here. I'm going to go ahead and refresh this. I'll make it a little smaller. There we go. And so now I got single standard, right? And you don't see it because my thing's up at the top there. <laughs> so, so the base price of this product is, um, is $2,000. And that's actually on the Shopify product itself. So each product you should have a price on. And then when you come in here, you add the add-ons to it. So now I've got single standards, 100 bucks. The bronze is 200 bucks. Did I do that? Oh, silver's 200. I didn't put anything for bronze. Uh, gold, single silver. Let me refresh this. Single standard, 100. Bronze, didn't put anything. 200 for silver. Gold's 300, there we go. Platinum's 500. So you gotta make sure you refresh it too if you don't see the pricing and stuff changing correctly or you gotta wait a little bit or try to use private browsing and then look at it. Um, so if you notice, my um, my swatch has changed each time I change this. So if I had created an additional drop down here to select these names, you'd be editing thousands of um, options to make this thing work and it would be a pain. Um, this doesn't have any uh, conditionals attached to it, so it doesn't really matter. Um, actually, it does. Let's see here. Add matching base. So let's see this one. So they adjust. So this is adjusted somewhere in the system on the actual product itself. It looks like select your bed base. So I must have set a pricing on that thing too. Um, the swatches themselves don't have. Um, let's see that one. Three hundred. This swatch is. Nothing. I think I'm just testing it for pricing. Let's see here. I think this one has a price on it. Yeah. So this linen, cement, whatever, I, I made it so it has a price adjustment. Um, so I want to add some more um, swatches to this right here. Okay. I want to add some more. And what I'm going to do is go back over into uh, bedheads. And then all I do is scroll down to the swatch I want to edit. So I want to do this Lexus linen one. I want to add some more. So I'll go ahead and click edit. I'll scroll down. And then here's a new space. Just hit the space bar and it gives you the ability to do that. Then I go ahead and upload what I need to upload. I'll go ahead and find what it is. It's a Lexus by Warwick. And I don't know where I left off, so let me fix that. Whoa, one second. Okay, so Kale is where I left off. Okay, so I go in here. And I did kale, so let's organize them by alphabetical. There's kale, there's marine, so that'll be the next one. And you click done, and then you type in marine, okay? And then you go in and you finish the rest of them that way. You do the rest for the swatches as well. Once it's finished, say you're finished making all those edits, you gotta make sure you, you wait for this thing to finish loading before you try to save it at the bottom. Otherwise, it'll just sit there and drive you nuts. So then you scroll down <laughs> and say, I'm done with everything. I click on save option set. So now once that's saved, I go back over to this, I hit refresh. I select the first one standard and it gives me my new marine. Okay. Okay. So here's the rub. So say for instance, uh, this is uh, Alice's $2,000 and then the Milan Let's just do Milan. And we'll click on Milan. So since I assigned um, all of the um, same swatches and everything to all of the bed heads, it's going to be on all of the bed heads, right? It's exactly the same thing. So if I change a swatch on this bed head, it'll change it on every single bed head. If I change pricing on this, it'll change it on every single bed head. So if I need to keep all of the swatches the same, right, exactly the same on all the bed heads, but the pricing needs to change, I simply go here and duplicate this. And I can call this bed heads pricing two if you want. So you, however you want to label it. And then you're going to need to recreate this. Okay. 
So um, this is where the pricing is. So you have to recreate this thing. You can't just duplicate it and you can't edit these um, prices. So if I click on edit here, watch what happens. This option is used for other option sets. So if you change a price here, it's gonna change it on the other one as well. So you need to create a new one for each of the sections you're gonna do. So if you're just gonna do um, Ottomans and then other stuff, that's fine. So you have to come in and do the same thing. So I'll go through and I'll do a scenario with Ottomans to make it easier. Um, I'll just I'll just do this one I guess. So um, I would have to delete this right, remove it, but then I'm gonna have to add all of these in here. Okay. So I'll usually just take a little screenshot, right, and then I'll put it over my little system somewhere. Let's see. Yeah. All right, so I'll just throw it in here. And I'll just drag it over there so I can have a reference. And then I will, or you can do however you need to. So I'm just gonna scroll down and make a new one. So I'll go all the way to the bottom. Now the new one that I'm creating is gonna be independent of the original one. So if I change the pricing on this one, it's not gonna reflect in the other one. So create new option set. And then it was called what? It was called select your fabric. All right, let's go up here. Uh, select your fabric price and range your size and price range. So I click that there, and then I want it to be a drop down, so I select drop down, and now I need to go through and add all these. So, move this guy out of the way. All right. Really wasn't that good. Let's move this over a little bit, there we go. All right, so I go single, standard, right? And then it's gonna have a price, so I need to adjust the price, whatever the price is gonna be. So say it's whatever, 300, right? And then I do the next one, single bronze, right? And then single gold, gold. I'm not gonna do all these, I'm just doing it for reference. So single gold, so I just created three. I'm going to click save. Come on. See how it takes a little time sometimes? It depends on your internet connection, depends on their system, depends on Shopify, all that fun stuff. All right, so it saved it. So now I need it to go up to the top. Right, because I wanted to go up there, so you just got to drag it. Click on these little buttons on the left here and drag it all the way up. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. A bit closer. Keep going. Ah. Okay, so I'm getting a little higher. Okay, so I'm getting close to this thing. I'm gonna stick it right below this one. All right, so I need to remove this one. Are you sure you wanna remove this option? Check confirm, and then I need to put this one up here. So now I have all of the same swatches for all the bed heads, they're all exactly the same. This select your base is also the same on all the other stuff, right? If you need a new one, you need to do the same process I just did. And then select your price range, right? So now there's only the few of them here. So then I scroll down to the bottom and I'll go ahead and save the option set. So now we have to figure out which um, option set this is gonna apply to, right? So let's see what this, uh, oh yeah, I gotta select products, whoops. <laughs> so let me select the product. I'm just going to put it on uh, one of the, uh, let 
probably just call it bed. So I'll put it on the lawn. Let's just see if it lets me do it. Yeah, it's not gonna let me do it. So if you have this uh, assigned to another product the same way, it's not gonna let you put it on there. So I'm gonna put, um, let me just call it Ottoman. So I'll just put it here. What is this one? The Cloud Collection Ottomans. Okay, so let's like save. Oh wait, my bad. Milan will let me put it on there. Let me see, Milan bedhead. Maybe it will. Yeah, it will let me assign it, okay. So now this same uh, pricing has been added twice to Milan. So if I go to the Milan product, I'll see two sets of drop downs and everything. So I should come back into the original bed heads, right? And I click on view products and then I'll find Milan and I'll remove it from this one. I don't know if you're gonna to need to do this, but let's just go in here it's for instructional purposes. I'll remove it and I'll save it. So everything's saved, I scroll to the bottom. I'm gonna save the options set. So now if I go to the front facing website here, right, I'll go ahead and refresh this. If you notice on this one, these are the actual default um, Shopify ones. So I, I'm gonna remove those, but let's go ahead and refresh again, Milan Bedhead. Yeah, it takes a little time. So see how it still has the old um, drop down on it. So let me go into Shopify, I'm go to products, go to new. Let's go find the product Milan. And we'll click this guy. And let's give it a base price. Let's say it's a grand. Actually, I'm going to get rid of all those. So let me see here. Yeah, see, so you did all that work already. <laughs> Ugh, it's kind of a pain. All right. So I'm going to select this. I'm gonna get rid of all of these. Uh, delete variants. Delete. It's gonna take a little bit, let it finish its thing. It takes a little while sometimes for Shopify to do that kind of stuff, so you gotta wait for it. All right, selected variants have been deleted. If you notice, this is now says this variant has multiple options like different sizes and colors. I don't leave that selected, right? Because I don't want those options to show. But you can use additional attributes on products if you don't, um, if they don't um, apply to that product options, dynamic pricing, and the swatches and everything. So you can add more options to it. So now I'll go ahead and save this product. It already saved it actually dynamically. Um, sometimes you don't have to do that because it does it dynamically. So now if I look at this product, let me go preview. See, there's my, there's my three, the four that I created, right? So let me go ahead and make a price for this guy. So I'll scroll down. Let's do a price for it. Let's say it's, uh, I don't know, uh, 1500 bucks. And we'll hit save. So now I have refresh. Okay. So I have all the same swatches, but look, everything's showing now. All the swatches on the lawn because I haven't set up any conditional um, uh, items for it to display, right? So if I select single standard, everything's there. If I select bronze, everything's there. So in order to fix that, right? And if you notice, if I select single standard, it's 1800 bucks. And I select bronze. Let's remember that in an hour. Do that in an hour. Okay. It's like bronze, right? It's gonna give me the pricing. Here's bronze, there's gold. Okay, so I didn't set standard, so 1800 bucks. All right, so now I want a conditional. I wanna show or not show swatches, right? So what I need to do is go back into that same one that I was editing. So I'm gonna close this guy. So here's bedheads to pricing, which we may not use. We will just put Milan back into the bedheads if we need to. So we'll go ahead and click on edit. And then we're gonna to go to conditional, list of conditions. So list of conditions here. So I have some that are already set up for the original 
um, uh, bed heads. So you need to select which one you're going to actually create the conditionals for. So I go ahead and create one for bed heads pricing two. Okay, there's no conditionals for this. Create new condition. So I want to say if the uh, select your price range, right? It's, you can't see it was off my screen. But that's the one I created with three or four drop downs, right? Is equal to, and then I say single standard. See, there's only three now. Then I want to show, right? I want to show Lexus Linen Swatch Group. And then, unfortunately, <laughs> what you need to do is go uh, and, and, and select save, sorry. Um, so now if they selected this in the price range, right? Then it shows uh, uh, Lexus Linen. So part two would be here if they select it again. Stupid computer froze on me. All right, so I select the price, the price range again. Now it's I need to select the next one is equal to bronze. If the bronze shows, I want to show the chambray, right? And then I select save. Okay, and then I do the same thing. I keep going through and doing that. If you look at the original bed heads. This one has, this is selected single, standard, then show Lexus linen, chambray linen, plush velvet, match. Oh, so I need to show all those, whoops. Yeah, those are all the same part. My bad. All right, so let me go to edit. So single is, yeah, Lexus linen, and then you add another um, action, and then you're gonna show the chambray, and then you're gonna add another one, show the plush velvet and show the maison, right? Hit save. So that's for single standard. So now I'll do the bronze. So the bronze is the uh, Bristol, I believe, uh, Parisi, Carter Chantel. I'd have to look at these to match these back up, but I'm just going to do this for instructional purposes. So now you've got these two set up, right? So if you have swatches all in that option set, you have to you have to either include them in something or hide them somehow if you don't want them showing. But once you do all of them correctly, all the you know single um, standard, single bronze, single silver, silver king, you're going to use up all the swatches and, and hide them. So you don't need to save anything on this. So now if you go um, over to the Milan. Um, product here and I refresh so right now it's it's showing everything right let's go here single yeah it's gonna show everything until I hide the other stuff until I, it's all included in the rest of the items chambray Carter Yeah, it just takes time. So what's going to happen is, is once you get them all added on there, it'll actually act like the original, um, this guy right here, right? So that's Milan. We go back to Alice. That was our example. So Alice, nothing showing, right? It's because I have all of these filled out and all of them have the groupings of the swatches that are related to their um, selection. So if I had all the swatches set up here, all the swatches here, all the swatches here, all the swatches here, all the swatches here. And what I mean by that is if I have the conditionals set up in here, right? So if you look at the one that I did in the beginning, bedheads, you'll see that there's single bronze, single standard, right? Silver, and then it shows all those. Gold shows just that one, and then 
the next one. So when you add the swatches in there, you're gonna have to come back into these conditionals and actually add them. So this one only has one, right? So say I add the next one in this line, I come back in here and I need to add the new action to show it and then select the new swatch group or whatever that I've added, right? So I'm gonna then cancel, okay? And that's how you, you kind of work with the conditionals. So, and we're only using the top drop down as the pricing and then it'll show the swatches. That's it.